In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this dynamic shadow text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So to begin with, we're first just going to start by creating a gradient background. So we'll go into project, new item, black video, press OK and drag that onto video layer one. Then we'll just extend this out to around 10 seconds. Go to effects and search for four color gradients. Now I'm just going to speed through this process because this isn't a tutorial on how to create a four color gradient. But if you wanted to know, there is a tutorial just here. Great. So we have got our gradient background here now completed. So the next step is to go ahead and create some text. So in order to do that, we're just going to go to the T icon type in our video and we'll type out a word or phrase of our choice. And I'm going to type out Brooker. Now we're just going to center this up. We can change the font, weight, style of this. We can do everything we want, but just make sure that it's placed in the center. And we're just going to drag that to the beginning and extend the duration of that to fill that gradient background. So as of right now, we have text on a animated gradient background. Super basic. That's not the effect that we're looking for. So in order to create the effect that we're looking for, we want to go onto that black video or the animated gradient background, copy the four color gradient, and we're going to paste that onto the text layer. So as you can see, we've got a fairly invisible text layer. Now we'll go into effects, search for drop shadow and drop that onto the text layer. And as you can see, all of a sudden we've got this drop shadow appear. So I'm just going to increase the opacity. We can change the direction if we want to, but we're going to leave that there for now because we're going to animate that shortly. Then we'll increase the distance and we can increase the softness as well. So this is what we have ended up with, which personally I think looks pretty cool. So going back to that direction animation, we're going to go back to the very beginning. We're going to create a brand new keyframe on direction go around towards the end and we'll just increase that number to something random. And when we play this back, you can see that is now animating. Of course, as well, you can just animate the scale and the position so we can add a nice scale effect in. So we'll go to the beginning, set it to around 70, 80 percent, and we'll just increase it by about 10. So we'll go up to around 85. And when we play this back, you can see we've got that really cool shadow effect. But then we've also got this nice subtle scale in. It's a really subtle effect and you're probably not going to use this on many projects, but it can give a splash of character for those projects that require just a little bit more. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.